Hello guys, today I have another answer to another comment on YouTube from Joao this time. What if you have some filtered model like filtered list in the table like paginated or filtered by something or sorted somehow and then you go to edit page and then after edit is successful you want to redirect back to all the filtered data not just default index. So how to do that in this short video. And here's an example, a list of data, for example, tasks with some dummy data, and then you go to page two, which is in the query, right? And then you go to edit some record, you edit that, and then you are redirected back to the index without pagination, so to the page number one, right? If you don't really pass any parameters, you are redirected, and usually how developers do that, after update, you just return redirect to route of index, right? and the index contains the code of paginate the task to enable the pagination. How to preserve those variables? So for example, if you have page two here, right, you need to save it somewhere and then after the update, you need to redirect to the URL with saved parameters. Of course, we could save parameters one by one, but probably the most straightforward way is to put the whole URL into session and then take that from session wherever we need that. So for example, here in the index, let's do session with support facade, put, for example, tasks URL, and then the value of that URL would be request helper with method full URL. And then that session is added to the use here, facade session, right? And every time we load that page, we have that new variable in the session, new value of that variable. And then after the update, actually, just out of curiosity, let's echo. So echo session get tasks URL. So you would know the value. Let's refresh that. And this is the full URL, including HTTP, all the query, everything. And now in the update method, all we need to do is check if there is a session. So if there is a session of tasks URL, then we redirect to that, return, redirect to session tasks URL, like this. Otherwise, if that session is empty for whatever reason, maybe we forgot something like that, we redirect as usual to the tasks index. Now let's try it out. So refresh the page, the session gets updated. So we are on page three, for example, edit the record with ID 22 something, we edit and we are redirected back to page three where ID 22 is still present. So this is a quick tip of how to preserve the variables into a session and then take it from session wherever you want. If you want more quick tips like this one, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe because I'm shooting the daily videos since the beginning of 2021. I haven't missed a day from January and I want to continue. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.